Chris, it's been a little while since we spoke to you, so I just wonder, in terms of team, injuries, um, anyone back from the last time we saw this one? Yeah, it's been a productive two or three weeks. I just said to the players, I, th I feel, you know, obviously coming in uh, just before the Liverpool game, you know, it was a bit hectic and uh, uh, and had to obviously make some quick decisions and put our messages over pretty quickly. But, you know, um, I think we're in a, in, a, in, a, in a real good place at the moment um, as, a gr as a group of players. And, and the obvious... Answer to that is Tom Davis back on the grass. Reese Norrington Davis played a game at Gillingham, Ryan Brewster more minutes inside him. Um, you know, a lot healthier, um, and 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 the feel of the place is uh, is, uh, is 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 growing. Uh, I feel um, obviously the the uh, the big challenge is taking that into Premier League games, as we totally understand. But I think it's been a really good. Um, um, a couple of weeks for us, um, you know, getting back to winning ways. Even though we understand uh, the game at, at, at Gillingham was it was an FA Cup game against a team out of League Two. We, we I totally understand that, but getting back that winning feeling and feeling a little bit better about ourselves individually and collectively was good. And we've built on that. We've not uh, we've not dived out to to uh, to to Dubai or anywhere sunny. We've we've really got our hands dirty over this last couple of weeks, and it's been a really good. Positive couple of weeks that we've uh, we've I've, I've certainly enjoyed and and hopefully we can show that in our performances on Sunday and going forward. Yeah, it sounds like the players have given you what you want as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, as I, you know, as I said when I walked through the door, that the the attitude and, and the personality of the, of the of the of the team was good. You know, um, I I didn't have to uh, have to go in and and um, and sort of decide who's who's with us and who's not. I think that is really important that, you know, that we, we all are together. This club at its best has always been together and connected. Um, so that was not an issue that I had to deal with. And, uh, uh, and you know, healthy, healthy, uh, healthy competition for places, um, good work on the training ground. And, um, and as I said, hopefully we can take that into, into the second part of the season. Uh, what about the new face in Ben Brereton Diaz? How's he settled in? I always believe, you know, uh, and I, I, I do understand when people talk about January as a, as, a, as a difficult window, and it has been, and, and, and no doubt um, I'll answer that question in time regarding any more business. But uh, I, I always believe, you know, bringing players in in January, maybe one or two that, we, that we've tried to, to make the group look better, um, always livens everybody up. And, uh, and certainly Ben coming in has certainly livened everybody up. We've been delighted with, with what he's produced on the training ground. We know a lot about him. I've, I've tracked his career from a young boy at Nottingham Forest uh, through to what, the work he did at Blackburn. And, uh, and we're delighted to get his signature and get him over the line pretty quickly. Uh, so um, the introduction of him and hopefully a couple before the window shuts will make us stronger uh, and I'm sure, uh, as we talked about with the likes of uh, the Tom Davis coming back, Reese Norrington Davis, Ryan Brewster, other players coming back into the group, um, the signings of a couple of the younger boys as well, feel good factor regarding regarding that, will be in a better place when the window shuts than what it was when it when it opened. Well, you've teed it up. So, how close are you to getting those two players? Yeah, we, 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 I am, and we are, we are quite fr frustrated because we, we, we felt we could have got them in for, for, for the weekend, but um, uh, the, uh, uh, the the deadline was 12 o'clock today, so we've uh, we've just missed out. But we believe we've worked very hard, and and I, in identifying and working hard in terms of uh, uh, a couple of potential signings coming in. Uh, before next week, which will, you know, I, I always knew that it wasn't going to be, you know, a huge window in terms of big numbers coming in. Um, two or three was was the targeted number, and I believe we'll we will um, we will reach our targets. And off the back of that, there's some some boys that have gone out as well. Can you reveal what positions those two players might be? No, I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, we have to work hard as a football club to get those over the line and. Uh, uh, and and uh, and hopefully we'll get the the rewards for a lot of hard work that's gone into getting into the getting in the uh, the players that we want. Uh, there's obviously some interesting players all through that window. Your captain being linked with Napoli currently. Have you had any inquiries? For My take on that 
and I spoke to Anel about it, and he's he's a really grounded um, in, individual, and uh, he loves he loves playing for Sheffield United. I, I I always think that you know speculation regarding a good player is not a bad thing. You know, you'd rather be talked about than not talked about. So, as it always is, it is speculation. And uh, I haven't been told from above that there's a, a potential deal in there often. It's it's noise, which it is always. And everybody uh, understands that when the window opens. But the player just has to get his head down and get on with being a, a, a really good professional, which he is, and putting in some top performances. And speculation, as we talked about, is, is for me, is, it shows that he's a good player. And... Uh, and good players have to deal with that. I suppose you might, you'd echo the, the words of the owner as well, that it would take a very good offer, would it, for anyone to be able to take what you're playing? Yeah, we're protected, uh, as, uh, and we understand that, that, uh, that, that we are in a, in a, in a, in a position, as, as the majority of clubs are, that um, if anybody comes in with a, with a, with a decent offer, that, that, uh, that might be considered. I, I think that's the way, the way you know, 75, 80 percent of football clubs work, um, but um, nothing's been said from above. We're, we're, we're confident we can hold on to the players that we that, that we've got because we need all our best players for for the second part of the season if we're going to produce performances, stroke results that will get us out of the position that we're in. And I'll just finish then with the final one on Hodzic. Um, you also said you spoke to him. Obviously, you'll be aware, I guess, that there is a danger of maybe talking about so I could on certain player. You've got no concerns on that. Well, one hundred percent. He's a totally committed, as you'll see in his performance on Sunday. Uh, he's a totally committed performer. He's a he's a great competitor, uh, and and he understands that. So it, it, there's been open dialogue between me and him right the way through through this uh, this last couple of weeks, where there has been some speculation regarding it. Uh, I just said reiterate that you know good players um, attract speculation. So um, I'm, I'm you know as far as I'm concerned. With an Alex onto onto businesses in terms of him producing a really good performance on Sunday afternoon. Cheers. Chris you mentioned earlier that you were hoping that there might be players in before the weekend. Does that mean that the signings are quite close? And how close could they be done maybe next week? Yeah, really close. You know, we're, yeah, we, we we've worked extremely hard in identifying them. You know, it's um, it is a difficult window to work in. I think you've seen there hasn't been a, a great deal of business at the top end. Um, um, and um, in identifying players, you know, are they available? Um, uh, loans as well. Um, I think we all understand that there wasn't going to be any permanent ones, and if they were, they'd be really good deals. But we're, we've we've worked hard, <coughs> position specific, to strengthen the group, and we believe when the wind is shuts, Rob, that the group will be a lot better. Um, in terms of uh, competition for places, balance of the of, of the group from an attitude point of view, um, and a feel um, that we will be uh, in, 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 a, in a better position than we were when the, when the window opened, and um, we 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 we're, we're cracking on with it 24/7. And uh, and everybody's enthusiastic and, uh, and 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 committed into making that group stronger and better. How much of your time does it take up during a month? You just had two weeks to work with the players, but when you haven't been working with them, you've pretty much been on the phone. Yeah, I, I do. I I I I think you know when people talk about you know the life of a football manager, and uh, I won't quote the club, but there was you know this new way of of, of thinking. I think there's a questionnaire going out regarding one club. Um, that they're they're offering to their their potential managers. What time do you start work and what time do you finish? They're in the start time and they're in the finish time. It's just as simple as that. So uh, um, you know, um, and and obviously from our ownership point of view as well, uh, you know, we have we have people situated all over the world as well. So um, it is it is always um, whether it's outside the window, but more heightened and more concentrated because. You are, and I am. I'm, I'm desperately keen to make this group better, and uh, and I do feel we we are getting there. As I said to the players today, you know, it's uh, it, we, we've we've accelerated this through. Now we have to we have to marry that up with um, with with that performance level, and uh, uh, and hopefully that'll add to our points total. Do you think this time you've had to work with the players, plus the additions that you're going to make, is going to give you a really serious chance of? We wouldn't, we wouldn't have made, and I wouldn't have asked the club to make those 
make those decisions um, if if I didn't think it, if uh, if, uh, if I didn't think there was any fight left in us. There's a definite fight left in us, as I've seen in, in terms of the performances on the pitch. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed that because I think we're light on points over my my period here, um, and uh, so we have to we have to part that in a way and move on to that next game. There was always going to be that next game approach from myself. There's loads of fight left in us. Uh, there's, there's definitely a huge fight left in, 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 in myself and the coaching staff, and I'm seeing that in the players. Uh, I would be totally honest with you. If I didn't think that, then I would say to the board uh, and the owner, you know, keep your powder dry. Uh, we don't. We, we, there's nothing left in us. Um, I'll try and get as much out of this group as I possibly can through my experience, um, and we'll, we'll plan for, for, for another season. Uh, in a different division. Uh, now that might happen, uh, another season in a different, um, uh, a different division. But it, it, it won't be through a lack of fight, commitment, and effort from from everybody at this football club, and that includes the supporters as well. So you use words like fight, commitment, connected, together. How do you retain that within a team when you're at the wrong end of the table? Because there's plenty of examples where that's not the case. There's plenty of examples where teams have got out of really poor positions as well. So, you know, it, it's the same as when, when I was coming back, you know, I'll never go back, but there's loads of examples of managers that have gone back and made a success of it. So I think that, you know, this is an historic historic game that we're all involved in and um, and every, anybody can look at it from any part, from a statistical point of view. You know, we have to play still as well. You know, it's not just about a fight. It's not just about uh, a commitment. It's not just about aggression and being competitive and being enthusiastic. There has to be a structure which, which we always have brought to whatever football club I've managed, and uh, and certainly this one. You know, in terms of the success that we've had, but the 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 uh, the, the balance is that, um, and um, and and hopefully that will be shown in in performances and in results and. Starting whoever you, whoever you're playing, whoever you're up against. A couple of final ones on transfers. Quite an unusual situation where the Cardiff manager mentioned that uh, Sheffield United might be in for Ryan Kent. Yeah, it was a strange one. I saw that one. Yeah, I come across that one. So uh, I don't know whether the the Turkish connection and Fenerbahce and somebody's um, somebody's after moving a player on, but um, it's nothing that we've we've been interested in. So. Yeah, that was quite quite surprising. I was as surprised as possibly you were, and uh, and thirty thousand Sheffield United fans were. And um, just purely because when you think back to last summer, there, there were a couple of high-profile departures from Sheffield United. Is the club in a different position now with all this talk about Pakranovic? Clubs do come in for your players. You were a stronger place to go. Now. Absolutely, one hundred percent, and um, and and you know from from an L's, you know I'll, I'll stick. You know if you want to, if Kev wants to stick an L up here, and and, and I'm sure he's got ambition. The player has ambition and wants to play at the highest level. You can't take that away from anybody, and I'll never stop anybody on that. But it has to be right for the football club, and uh, you know, um, and you know gaining the gaining the power back has has always been something that I've been. Uh, heavily committed to um, signing the younger players, as we've seen uh, over the last couple of weeks. The likes of Brooks signing, right? Antoine Ackford signing, you know, uh, uh, Danny Jebison in 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 talks, our blaster in talks, nailing those boys down, nailing the other boys down that may be out of contract that I see uh, are going to be part of the future going forward as well will be key as well. So bringing that bringing that power back to us and bringing sort of the the um, how can I say it? Um, our, our plan and our structure that we that, that we're trying to implement, and who's going to be on the journey going forward. Um, so that that was always going to be key. Um, I understand. You know, I've been involved in a difficult situation before. You know, we were involved in the John Lundstrom situation, which was a really difficult one because Lunny was a committed player and he did great with us, and he ran his contract down. And you don't, you know, nobody wants to get to that position in that situation. Um, sometimes, though, you can't help um, uh, it in any way, and you're you're power, you're powerless to 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 to, to make that happen, really. Uh, but we don't want to get into that position, and we're talking about the young players and the length of contract they're signing, 
and then now and if it does happen then it happens and everybody's everybody's happy with the situation i don't want to lose my best players but you know speculation is, is rife about anel and i understand that as long as he gets his head down which i 100 percent believe he will do then um then it, it doesn't become an issue how close are you to potentially tying down the likes of jefferson and Arnold? yeah really close um i think jebo's out hunting in 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 sheffield um and and and, and ollie um I've, I've threatened him that his future's at Sheffield United, so I think he's a little bit scared of me at the moment. So I'll just keep uh, keep squeezing him until he signs a contract, but I'm sure he will do because uh, he's a young, talented boy. You know, we've had inquiries about him in terms of the championship, but he's he's a player that we're really looking forward to working with. You know, I think you've seen the likes of Asula as well, uh, the likes of Brooks, their impact that they've had on the first team and the, the experience that they've got. So. The likes of them two and and Jebison and and R Blaster and Reese Norrington Davis, you know, the, you know, of course we're always looking, we're, we're massively looking at the West Ham game. I get that, but there always has to be a medium and long term plan. So I think the place, uh, the players are, are in a good place overall, and I think the, the the club is in terms of, you know, making sure that we're we're, we're secure going forward. But finally on West Ham, it's always interesting when these two teams meet. What do you expect from from this game? Uh, of course, a reaction from the cup defeat, um, uh, and uh, a manager that I, I, I believe is doesn't get the credit and, and, and praise that he, that he deserves. I think if you look back at, at David Moyes' career and what, what he did at Everton, um, it, you know, obviously from from doing a fantastic job at Preston and getting the Everton job, and and then being not out the top six, not top eight for about four, five, or six years. His recruitment, um, he got Everton and Everton got him. Um, and um, yeah, of course, people will talk about the times where it didn't go as well as uh, David and, and, and the club he was managing would have would have liked. But, you know, West Ham winning a European competition, you know, being in the top six, the top eight is an incredible achievement because how difficult the Premier League is. So he, 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 he he's one that, for, for for me is is somebody that I've always looked at and looked up to personally, um, and, um, and 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 their position has been earned over the last two or three years, and it's it's been down to a lot of good things that that, that the managers implemented it uh, and and his style and his fingerprints all over that football club. Is it something can you use them? I know that obviously they've achieved a lot of it, but in Europe and stuff like that. Is there something? Learn from them. They were down for a while, weren't they? Yeah. All, all, all I would say, though, Rob, is that they they were an established. You know, they they did they did come out of the come out of the, uh, the the Premier League and dropped into the Championship and got themselves up. But they've always been, you know, a pretty established Premier League club for for quite a number of years. And obviously, the the uh, the advantages and um, uh, and the power that that gives the football club to 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 move forward. So they've had a they've had a platform and a, and a and a base, but it still has to be managed. And when it doesn't go right like it did, they have to have somebody that that comes and rescues the situation. Um, you know, I think it was it was talked about. You know, when I think I I, I last signed my, my my contract and we beat them one nil at our place, the position that West Ham were in at that particular moment. And who would have said that maybe in the next two or three years that it won a European. Uh, competition and being in and around the top six to get into Europe to win that competition and and um, and, and go again like they're doing this year. Cheers, Cheers Rob. Um, still on West Ham, Chris, how do you go about approaching a game like this? Because you mentioned the, the job David Moyes has done, they've been successful in Europe, they're now sixth in, in the Premier League. They seem to be one of those teams with a steeliness about them that aren't going to be bullied. So, how do you approach it? Well, we're not. We're not going to get bullied as well. So, um, it, uh, listen, as, as always, a, a plan um, to to implement what what we're about uh, and a respect of what um, strengths that that they possess. You know, and I think there's been a lot of talk about their injuries. You know, I think we had 14 unavailable for the Gillingham game, and we've had a we've had a lot of good players, really key important players out for I would say the majority of the season. The likes of Egan, the likes of Basham, the likes of McBurney not being available. Brewster, all relatively big players. Tom Davis, big players. 
for 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 our football club. So, um, and and as as that was said uh, in the cup game, they had eleven internationals out on the pitch on um, on the midweek game. So, whatever team that turns up, uh, it'll no doubt be wanting to to get back to winning ways in the Premier League. So, strengths and weaknesses um, uh, assessed as much as the. Um, um, the assessment into us will be done by them, and uh, but we've got to make sure that we're we're bang at it and we produce a, a, a front footed, full throttle performance. And uh, I believe we can, and I believe we can cause problems. And on Tom Davis, Norrington Davis, and Brewster, arrows obviously pointing upwards. How many of them are in contention? Uh, yeah, two out of the three. Um, like new signings, Rich. For 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 me, the, the, just those boys getting integrated back into training and just seeing them improve and, and, and step forward. They are like new signings. So I, I look at that and I look at Berrett and Diaz as four and, and maybe a couple of others. You know, we, we, we'll we possibly have six players that's coming back into the group, which, you know, for for us makes an absolute huge difference because they're all, they're all proper footballers. Well, we believe they're proper footballers as well that will make us better and stronger more competition to the group. And I think the other players see that as well. They're delighted to see the likes of Tom coming back in and Reese coming back in and Rian being sharp in training. Of course, my job is to manage manage the load and to not to um, to re-injure because that is, that is huge that they don't find themselves back in the treatment room and on the physio table. Um, so key is that, is to making sure that I get the balance right and we get the balance right in terms of the work that they do and the minutes that are involved, but for 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 Reece to play, you know, near on a full game, um, at, at Gillingham was was brilliant and a brilliant reward because there was questions over his over his future. Uh, the likes of Rian coming on for for 25 half an hour uh, at Gillingham was 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 great, and you know the other players see that and are genuinely delighted that uh, that, that those boys are those boys are back and in the fold. And just finally for me on on Will. I know you were impressed with the way he started when once you returned. Um, how big a moment was it for him against Chelsea? Yeah, he's got to balance that up because his performances have been fabulous for a young boy. You know, the likes his first outing for for, for me is up against Van Dyke. Then he's playing at Chelsea. You know, then he's you know even when you're playing against Brentford against me and Pinnock, You know that the, you know they're outstanding competitors and uh, uh, you know he, he's had some some great tests so far. Um, but he's judged as well as his, his play out of possession, his play in possession. He's judged and won't want to score goals and great for him to, you know, the goals hasn't changed. The finishes haven't changed, you know, regardless of that's in the Premier League or whether it's in a, in a cup tie, he still has to be finished off. And, um, and we're all delighted that he, he managed to do that and get his goals that his, his play has deserved.